Hello, uh, I'm Richard Raffin. Um, I was given this piece of uh, juniper um, basically to see what I could do with it. And the uh, first thing I notice, or even you might notice on the camera, is a shocking great split down the middle. And it seems to go the whole way, so the best way is to oh, just prise it apart. Um, and then uh, we'll see what we can do with it after that. So it's beginning to look like centre work of some sort. Of course the grain's running this way. Um, the first thing that jumps out at me is this great swirling grain there, which is not something you want in a spindle. Um, because it's uh, not very strong. So, uh, I, and there's a split all the way down there. Whereas this looks pretty kind of solid. So what I'm going to do is to uh, cut down here, just take that ragged edge off. Um, and then take a cut down there. And I've got a gauge where that is somehow, but anyway, you'll cut, cut all that down. Cut the saw down to a sensible height. So it's not so dangerous. Now I'm cutting with a uh, 3 8 blade, which is all I've got at the moment, or is a half inch blade, half inch blade. Um, I would prefer to be doing this with a 20 mil blade, but uh, those are on order at the moment. Um, so it's just a little bit more difficult to cut in a straight line. I think the first thing I'm going to do, though, is just cut away the curve. Um, and I'm thinking in terms of spatulas at the moment and small boxes. So there's a split right through there. I can barely see it, but that's um, it's a nice colour, and I'll just take it through that split. There's another split just here. So that's not really good for anything other than something very small. That would do, I suppose, for pen blanks, not something I make, uh, a pen, so I might give that to somebody else. This is very thin down in here, so we'll just get rid of that. Now that's looking quite nice and uh, so I'm wondering about a wide spatula up in here but there's a big split so that's out but I can work up towards that and I'll just mark where it is and the other end mark where it is There to there, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can hear that split there. Slightly hollow sound. So that's looking solid, that looking okay. And um, I'm thinking in terms of something with a nice fat handle, so I'll just make one, one spatula out of this, I think. I'll just come back from there. We want to be reasonably precise about it. like to get my fingers behind the blade as soon as possible. You can touch the back of a blade but we really don't recommend touching the front. So that 
could be a kind of thin spatula that way, but not really. That's got a little bit of kind of rot or a knot or something there, so just take that bit off. Right, one spatula. The big split there. Let's take all that off. Now at that point the uh, battery on the camera ran out. Should have had it plugged into the mains anyway. Uh, but I, you get the idea. I'm sure what was happening. Um, I ended up with two, four, six, seven potential spatulas, a uh, couple of lace bobbins. Uh, uh, oh, I suppose there would be long enough lace ones. Uh, pen blanks rather, which uh, I don't make pens, so somebody else will use that. And a potential uh, little bowl and a little dish. I also found another little bit of juniper so I've ended up with eight spatulas and uh, these two little bowls. You'll see these being made in their own video and uh, you see one of these spatulas, I think it was this one, uh, made in its own juniper, juniper spatula video. Looking at this lot, uh, I anticipate being able to sell them for somewhere between uh, $150 and $180 all up, uh, which is quite a good return on a bit of firewood.